from Connors Bricks and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own Lego Linux. Over here we've got the box which the parts came in and over here we've got the PDF file that we will be working on from today. First of all we're going to be making the bed. Step one, you're going to need a 2x4 black plate along with a 2x1 black brick with studs on the side of step 2 and then you're going to place it on there on one side so that you've still got two studs on each side of the 2x4 plate. Next you're going to need two 1x2 black plates and then you're going to need to push them together like that and then connect them on the 1x2 black brick with the studs on the side. That's step three. Our next step is to get this 1x2 black brick with a cross hole through the middle and then place that on the two 1x2 plates that we put on the side of our 1x2 brick with studs on the side. Like that. Then you're going to get your axle, which is six studs tall, and you can measure this by getting a one by eight plate and then lining it up and seeing how many studs that is. So we're then gonna put it through there, like that, so that the lip, there's only a tiny little bit that's coming through the top and a large area of it is at the bottom. Step six, you will need to grab these, we call these headlight bricks. They are one by one black bricks with a stud on the side and a little lip at the bottom. And if you turn it around, there's a square hole on the side. So you're going to need to grab two of these and with the square hole there, you're going to need to connect that on these studs here. as shown like that. Step seven then requires you to grab your four by four black plate and then put that so that the studs on the side are facing towards the rest of the plate there. Step eight, then you grab a two by four black tile which has no studs on the top and is smooth and then you're going to place that on the far side of your 4x4 black plate. For step 9, you are then going to have to grab these 1x2 light grey bricks and they've got these patterns on one side going vertically and then the same but going horizontally on the other side. You're going to grab one of those and place the lines going vert horizontally and place that facing outwards and you're going to grab two more of them and do the same like that. Step 10 you're going to do the same so take three of those one by two bricks with the horizontally and vertically stripes and put them on the same way on top of each other to make the bricks two steps tall. For step 11, it's just the same. You take three more of these light grey bricks and you put them on the same way. Like so. And then you're going to grab two of these 1x2 white plates but they've got a lip on the side you're going to place them on the, the two 1x2 light grey brick stacks on the side of that to make that then you're going to need to take a 1x2 white plate it's just a normal plate and put it right there as shown Step 13, we'll just need you to grab three more of these light grey 1x2 bricks with the vertical and horizontal 
stripes. Make sure you have the horizontal stripes facing outwards, like that. And then do the same for step 14. Step 15 is also the same. almost identical to the other side as shown. Then, you're going to grab three more of these one by two plates with the lip on the side in white and place them around the edge. So that your grey stacks with your white tops are basically identical. The only difference to these two sides is that the side with no black plate here has a lip on it and the side here with a black plate and a black tile does not have a lip on it. Step 17, you're going to need to grab another black 2x4 plate and place it on the end that does not have a black lip over the side. Then you're going to grab a 4x8 black plate and put it so that this side here meets up with this side of the black 2x4 plate and so also that the four studs overhang like so next you're going to need to grab another 1x2 plate with a lip on the side and place it on the side there and then you're gonna need to do the same for the other side on step 20. Step 21 and step 22 you're going to need to grab six of the 1x2 light wash grow bricks which have the vertical and horizontal stud stripes on the side. You're then gonna need to place them in stacks of three like that. And I'll just do that with the other three. And then leave them aside for the moment. With step 23, then you're going to need to grab two more of the 1x2 black plates and place them on the end of your 1x3 black, 1x3 grey stack on both of them. Now in the instructions, it says to put the grey ones on before the black ones, but I would find it much easier to put them together and then place them step like that. You're going to need to grab your 2x4 black tile with no studs on the top, it's nice and smooth, and you're going to need to place that on the end where there's no black overhang. You're going to need to grab the, another one and do the same there so that it connects those two bits together. 25, just grab four of the 2x2 two two black tiles. They're, remember they're smooth. And place them on here in the 2x2 two two square so that they fill the area except for this bit here. Then on step 26 you're going to need to grab one more of these and put it in the middle so that you've got two studs on each side and the reason for this is so that you can put your specially made mask on the bed when finished. That is then your constructed bed ready to put in place when you finish the rest.